Oh look, if it isn't a baby bad tech student very confused about exposure factors. If you haven't met me yet, I'm your new best friend. They call me the unhinged x-ray school teacher. Today we're gonna talk about mass, kids. Mass, that's milliampage per second. This is the number or the exposure factor that controls whether your image looks diagnostic or like a Bigfoot sighting on a trail cam. It sounds scary, but it's not rocket science, bestie. Is down to an atomic level. Let's start there. How many electrons are boiled off? How long you let them smash into the anode? Those two things together? How many photons get spat at the patient? That's quantity when it comes to the x-ray beam. Photon head count. Radiation body count. Why does it matter? Well, mass is literally the quantity of what makes ionizing radiation. It's not necessarily what creates x-ray, it is the functional unit of the x-ray beam, if you will. Too little mass, your image is grainy, noisy, useless garbage. It looks like your x-ray was shot on a Game Boy Color instead of an image receptor. Too much mass? Sure, it's nice and bright, but congratulations, you just deep fried your patient for no reason. What does mass control? It controls brightness and density. More photons equals brighter image. Sounds like my ex-boyfriend from college could've used some more photons. It controls noise slash quantum model. Low mass equals static filled garbage. More quantum model. Quantum model looks like graininess on your image. Basically, looks shitty. And it controls patient dose. Basically how much you're cooking the patient's insides. And that's it. It does not change contrast, does not change penetration. That's KVP's job. Stay in your lane, mass. All right, here's some things that you need to stop confusing. Some more things that mass does not do. It does not affect spatial resolution. Blurry images, that's motion, focal spot, or geometry, not mass. It does not magically fix your shitty positioning. If you cut off an enemy, no amount of mass can save you. Bottom line, mass is quantity only. Stop trying to make it do shit it doesn't do. Okay, here's your cheat code. Here's how you're gonna remember this. Too little? Think of mass like pouring drinks at a bar. Too little, your glass is empty. Everyone's pissed. Too much, you're blacking people out and the cops are on their way. Just right? Buzz enough to function, safe enough to go home. With a designated driver. Except instead of alcohol, it's radiation. And instead of drunk people, it's your patient's DNA. How do we know when we need to increase mass? Why would a patient need more dose? Well, if you got a larger patient, if you have more tissue to go through, you're gonna need more photons to create an image that's not noisy, okay? So, somebody muscular, somebody thicker, there's something like a cast on the arm, you're gonna need a little more mass. Anytime there's more thickness, you're gonna need more photons. More ass, more mass. Learn what mass is, how to control it, and stop sending unreadable images to PACs or glowing patients to oncology. That's it, learn it, use it, Stop wasting everybody's time.